So welcome back to my Carpenter's Daughter YouTube channel and this week I actually went to my dad's wood yard and he showed me how to make these flower window boxes so keep on watching if you want to see how to make them. So I had two plant pots I really wanted to work around and I told my dad I wanted a couple of inches of finger space around it so I can get it in and out and to make things quick because it was towards the end of my dad's closing time he did all the cuts for me on this. And it was really simple because all I needed were two identical cuts and that was something for the length and something for the sides. Oh, tell a lie, I did make a couple of cuts, but with my dad's supervision. And my dad just gave me some demonstrations here to get me started and showed me how I needed to overlap each end, a bit like a brick laying effect, where all the ends overlap. And it was just a point of getting into a rhythm of nail gunning each layer on top. So bear in mind, we are doing this upside down. The idea is when you flip it over, you shouldn't see any nails. But as this is my first time, I later found out I didn't put enough nails in. So definitely make sure each layer is attached. Unfortunately, I had to put some nails in on the pretty side. And my dad advised me to go seven tiers high. And once I'd got my top layer done, my dad's helper marked and cut a couple of long pieces of wood that will be fixed to the base. And then we flipped it over so that lip we'd put in was at the bottom and then a few slats of tongue and groove would be nailed on top. And that would be the base to hold my plant pots. Now the main reason I wanted to go down to my dad's wood yard, I was really worried about any angle brackets I'd made wouldn't be strong enough because I'm not a professional. And again, because we were running out of time, my dad did the cuts of these, but the top bar is the same depth as a planter with an angle cut at the end. And the back piece is a little bit longer, but he used off cuts of decking. And my dad also stressed it's so important to screw it in together as a perfect right angle. So the next day I'm at home and I'm putting my brackets together. So using my speed square, I held it into position, pre-drilled some holes and popped about three screws in per end. That might be more than enough. Now I'm working out my center line so that middle bit is in the center. That way I could pre-drill some holes and screw it in. And the idea is you're not gonna see any screws holding it together apart from the spat screws that hold it to the wall. And although I initially pre-drilled two holes for the piece that goes against the wall, I found out I could only use one. But I was fine for two screws for the top. And I'll show you why in a second. And now for the holes for the screws to hold it against the wall, I made sure I pre-drilled two larger holes in the exact same place for each bracket for my spec screws to attach to the wall. Now it's time to fix it to the wall. Of course it's better if you've got two people, but I usually do these jobs while my fiance is at work. So to start off with, I held it up against my windowsill and made a pencil line. And this is when I realized my windowsill wasn't level at all. So thankfully, a few people on Facebook assured me it was best to go with the sill, otherwise it would look out of place. And now I'm working out the center line of my windowsill and then my center line on my window box. And I decided to go for 40 centimeters away from that center point for each bracket. And using a six mil masonry drill bit and my combi drill on a hammer drill setting, I drilled a hole into my brickwork. And that was minus the distance of the thickness of the bracket. I didn't want to drill too deep. And then once I've done those two holes, I've returned back to the bracket and then fix that middle support into place using one screw on the longest side from behind and that way I could just rotate it out of place and then use a Torx head screw bit to fix the top spec screw in place. That was and then finally screw it from the top with two screws and I used stainless steel screws for that. And then fix in the bottom spec screw but make sure that your supports are level with the spirit level. But I just did this one on the garage by eye because it was a little bit out but not with the front of the house. And then I'd place the box on top, match it up with that center line that I drew, pre-drilled some holes at the bottom of the support, at the front and the back, and then screw into place so it couldn't go anywhere. And then I placed my plastic plant boxes full of flowers straight inside. 
and what a difference this has made. Oh, that's awesome. And then finally, I brushed over every cut end with a wood preserve. But ideally, I should have done this before I fixed it on top of the brackets because it was a struggle to get to the back. 